Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nicole, and today we will be going over some layering combos. You like to call them layering combos. I like to call them a blend, tomato, tomato. Shall we get started? So I only have a few, I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. I, I've been getting requests to do a layering combo. And so that's what I'm doing today. And the first blend I have is the Bath & Body Works Emerald Mist. And I paired this with the Gingham Fresh um, Lotion. I actually applied this first. And then I went in and topped it with Guess Seductive. And this, baby, this was a shocker to me. When I tell you after everything settled and kind of dried down a bit, it reminded me of Sharosa 62. Sharosa yes. 62. And baby, girl, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was smelling marvelous all day long. I couldn't help but to keep smelling myself. Smelling myself. Okay, so the next one, if you watched any of my Middle Eastern uh, perfume hauls, you know this particular perfume I did not care for. But let's start with what I started with, which is the um, Bath & Body Works Hibiscus Paradise Hydration Cream. And then I came in and sprayed my Armoff Le Parfait Pour Femme perfume. And this perfume is very, it was very green. I guess I had to let it settle. So it has been over two months. And I said, you know, just for the heck of, every now and then I'll go and spray it to see if I've changed my mind, <laughs> liking it. And each time I have gotten a different reaction because it's like, hmm, not so bad. Hmm, okay, okay. But this last time when I layered it with this, and then I topped it off with Mix Bars Sparkling Hibiscus um, Body Mist. Girl, this was everything I ever dreamed of for this spring um, weather. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was smelling so girly, so fresh and so clean with this. I kept getting these whiffs of sweetness. This was it. When this dries down, this is so pretty and so girly. At first, it's very, um, I don't want to say it's harsh, but that bergamot, that neroli, the, all that citrus is very bitter at first, but it dries down to a beautiful, sweet citrus. And this together, delicious. Loved it. So this is my new go-to for like spring and summer, I think. Um... Let's see. And this next one was a total whim. I just wanted to see if I can get like a tropical effect. And baby, that's exactly what I got. I felt like I was on a tropical island. You couldn't tell me nothing. So I first went in with the Pink Pineapple Sunrise uh, Body Cream. And then I came in right with the Mia Sierra Holidays. And then I topped it off with the Bath & Body Works Coconut Pineapple body mess and baby this was everything 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 oh y'all didn't come here to hear me sing but this was everything everything in a bottle this is this needs to be on your list when you go to that tropical island on vacation because baby i smell like a creamy pineapple i smell rich sis i smell like i deserve to be on that island nobody couldn't tell me nothing and that's how I was feeling all day long, going like this. Sorry. But that's how I was just smelling myself all day, all day. Um, my next, we're just going to move on, okay? We're just going to move right along. So next, I um, this one, this one, this is another one. If you go on vacation, you need to pack this up and put it in your bag. If you don't have these, you know, you can always sub out. Um, but what I try to do is I try to get as many blends as possible. That's why I call them blends because I like to get 
scents that blend well together or fragrances that blend well together like pineapple and coconut go well together pineapples and strawberries so i try to do my blends like that and pineapples and bananas hence this one so this this next blend is with the bath and body works bahamas passion fruit and banana flower lotion um i then came in with my sugar milk cold banana milk body oil look at this this don't make no sense so it did not originally come in this bottle i actually um decanted it in this bottle it actually came in a bottle like this a roller bottle but i don't care for the roller bottles so i prefer to have either a spray or one of the little droppers like this. I actually got this dropper from um, Timu and I just took the label off the original bottle and put it on here. But so I came in with that. Then I turned around. So I came in with the Le Mans Gourmand Bon Bon Banane. This is beautiful. This dries down to a beautiful, creamy, um, slight coconut banana fragrance. Now you're not getting a juicy banana, like a edible banana, but you would get the essence of a banana. And the longer this sits, the yellower that juice gets, and it just smells sweeter and sweeter the longer it sits. And then lastly, I came with the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Spray on top. I topped it off with that. And baby, when I tell you these fragrances harmonize with each other, they were just singing in harmony. You understand? But this banana milk by Sugar Milk Co. was the absolute star. I'm telling you, if you have not experienced Sugar Milk Co., please sign up because this banana milk does not get enough credit. It is so delicious, so creamy so sweet so delectable but very versatile you can make this very gourmand for the fall or you can tone it down a little bit for the summer this is gorgeous okay shall we move on next um i went in with the uh oh yes the tree hut birthday cake body cream this to me does it it does not give birthday cake like the gourmand birthday cake it's very it has some fruity essence to it it's like a a fruity vanilla if you will um i don't get that buttery so then i came in with the um jimmy choo's blossom this is gorgeous when it when it sits and then it dries down a bit it has some raspberries in it some um neroli some orange blossom this is so sweet and beautiful it has a little bit of musk in it but it's very girly and very um feminine this is perfect for this time of year so i came in with the jimmy choo and then i hit it with the berry Santal by Victoria's Secret. I wanted to play up the berries in both of this birthday cake cream as well as with the, cause it has some black currant in this as well. So I wanted to play it up in this and baby, this was like a creamy, berry, sweet, feminine delight, gorge. Okay, so let's move on. Um, next, I wanted to see how this would work. And again, I was not sure of where I was going to go with this. I really wanted this um, body mist to play on its own. And that is the Sol de Janeiro Bikini Season. This, we all know it has guava in it, but it wasn't the guava that I was expecting. <laughs> I don't get that juicy guava on my skin. I don't know if anyone else does. But it smells so good. It smells really good. So I came in with the Bath and Body Works Pretty as a Peach. 
So I, I know peach and guava, papaya, all of those play well together. And then I came in with the obvious. I know this is so obvious. The Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny um, Hydration Cream. And then I topped it off with one of my faves. And that is the Marc Jacobs Honey. This has peach, of course, honey. It has, it has a little bit of everything. It has some dried fruits. This is so versatile and beautiful, baby. If you don't have this, you better hurry up and get it because he has discontinued it, but I'm sure you can still find it in your Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Burlington. But when I tell you that it went so well with this, it really played up that guava like I wanted to in here. And also, um, it just gave it such a smooth and fruity effect. Loved it. And that's exactly what I wanted to do with the um, Sol de Janeiro Do Not Disturb. This is my last and final um, blend that I have for you all. But this, this smells so good. I don't care what nobody says. This, this is my favorite. Out of all three of them, this was my favorite. And I chose to pair this with Pure Wonder. I know, I know, I know. But when you smell them together, friends, they are a match made in heaven. And when this dry down, this has a sweet undertone to it. People keep saying that this is like a fresh, a clean, um, so fresh and so clean, like linen scent. I didn't, I got that at first. I'm not even gonna lie, I got that at first. But after I kept wearing it, I didn't get that anymore. It, it's a sweet undertone that it has. So um, for my hydration or my moisturizer, I went in with this Ulta Beauty Sugared Vanilla Lotion. But like I said, I kept getting this sweet undertone with these two together. So I came in with Body Fantasies Cotton Candy. And baby, mind blown. Because when I tell you, I smell so good, so, so good. It was unbelievable. This was a super shocker to me. This is my super shocker. And I'm going to layer it like this every single time, every single time. So, friends, I understand that, you know, these blends are subjective. Fragrances are itself are subjective. So what I like, you may not like. What works for me may not work for you. But I encourage you to try it or to get inside your collection or your stash and try to, you know, come up with some blends. And let me know down in the comments if you blended any of these fragrances that I have. And let me know what your blends are because I like to try them. And I'll continue to share with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. To the next time, friends. Understanding you respected every boundary, you so exciting, was unexpected.